Our first guest tonight is a doctor turned comedian turned judger of singers and masks who recently added host to his resume with another musical game show. The I Can See Your Voice holiday special airs December 14th on Fox. Please welcome Ken Jeong. <laughs> It's good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Thanks You're for a real me. doctor. I mean, yes. a real one. I'm yeah. a real doctor. I'm a real yeah. doctor. I still have my license. Was, Why don't uh, you run for senator? I you mean, know, I'm a game show host. <laughs> I have standards. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> celebrity doctors, if you're watching us right now, I'm just saying, if you're a celebrity doctor, just relax. Just pull it back, all right? <laughs> just know your role. You've got to relax. I mean, dude. If he enters the Senate, that means I can start my MMA career because we can do anything. That would be I'm fun. just saying. Relax. I could see you dominating your weight class. I would yeah. dominate in the <laughs> skinny fat flyweight division. I really would. When you were practicing medicine, did you see the weird kind of Dr. Razi stuff that um, he yeah. goes to from time to time? Um, you know, I have, like, I've, I've seen some of the wildest cases. Well, I was in internal medicine, so I wasn't a surgeon, but one of the, one of the funniest cases I've ever, I, I did my residency in New Orleans. I did three years of postgraduate training after med school, and I was, I was working in the ER, and there was this, I saw a case of memory loss. It was an elderly gentleman with memory loss. It was happened about 20 years ago when I was, when I was postgrad, and he couldn't remember anything. And, I was, it, and you go down these diagnostic, is this a stroke? Is this a tumor? So you do an MRA, you do, you do an MRI, you do like all sorts of diagnostics, negative. Everything was negative, CAT scan, MRI, all the blood work was negative, no evidence of stroke, tumor. So like, okay, what's going on? And then his memory started coming back and I noticed he was like 85 and accompanied by his beautiful 85 year old wife. And I was like, I, I said, uh, you know, anything precipitate this and literally, the wife was fidgeting as if she did something bad. And so, <laughs> true story, she goes, well, we did have Sayex. And <laughs> true story. And it turned out he had a case of transient global amnesia. It's a real thing. Look it up. So medically speaking, she <laughs> his brains out. So I <laughs> you know? True story. Well, God bless yeah. them. That's a shame he didn't remember that. It's a shame he didn't remember. <laughs> what do you know about Omicron? I mean, should we be um, back in our houses now? You know, it's 10 to 14 days. I'm literally watching it. Hand I mean, I'm watching 24-7. I just saw Fauci talk about it right now. True, just real talk. Just, we got to wait 14 days, but we just got to play defense. Mitigation, mask, do, I mean, look, all of us, we're vaccinated, we're tested. We get, we just got to... Play common sense, be kind to each other, and not be an That's what we got to do. That's what we have to do. Yeah. And literally, but what scares a medical... Well, we're Americans. How are we supposed to do that? I know, I know. We're Americans. <laughs> you know, we're not New Zealanders. Now, it, but what really is scaring the scientific community is that on that spike protein and the Delta variant that attaches to your body and infects you, there are two mutations on that spike protein. On that spike protein... For the Omicron variant, they're 12. So, and, and they're like maybe in a total of 32 mutations on that virus. So, they're this, so if you do computer modeling and all these logistics that I don't want to bore anybody with, there's worries that it could be more transmissible. We don't know if it's going to be more virulent or more dangerous. So, if anyone out there is accusing the scientific community of overreacting, you're welcome because all we want to do is be overprepared so we don't have to. Right. You know what of I mean? Course. Of so course. So if anyone is accusing Fauci, I love what you said about Fauci last night. If anyone's accusing the medical community of like over overreacting, you're welcome, America. You I know? love that you know all this stuff and yeah. you're a judge on the mass. Center. And also, yeah. <laughs> You really but, have range. But all this is <laughs> all this is coming from the guy who thought that the rose was Bjork. So I don't know a lot of it. <laughs> Yeah, you do screw up the guesses I sometimes, right? I'm the dumbest yeah. judge. <laughs> I'm maybe I'm the smartest guy in my green room. I was alone. And then now 
I'm the dumbest judge on the Masters. I have to say, once I was watching the show and somebody, I think maybe like Jenny McCarthy, guessed that it was me, and I'm like, I wouldn't do that. How dare she? <laughs> <laughs> she probably stole my guess. I probably thought it was you. <laughs> yes, no, if the singing sounds good, it's not me. That's a good <laughs> clue. And now you are also, the ho you were the host of uh, this show. I yeah. can see your voice. Yeah. This is a show, and both of these shows are like on all over the world versions of this, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. They, they started in Korea. I'm of Korean descent, and my mom is, even though they live, my parents live in America, they get a, have a satellite dish and they watch all Korean programming. They really have a, still have a satellite dish. They have dish, a satellite yeah. dish. Wow. They live in 1985. <laughs> and they have a satellite dish, and when I was offered to be a part, to be a judge on The Masked Singer, and also to be a host of I Can See Your Voice, I was like, I don't know, I've never done those kind of shows. And my mom, of all people, was like, she would send me YouTube clips of both shows and say, you gotta do it, it'll be a game changer. She and then knew, it was She knew, and then it was, and here we are. Was so. she in early yeah. on, um, yeah. like Squid Game, was she in on that? Did she know what was, oh, I guess that was on Netflix right yeah, away. Yeah, but so. you know, it's fine. I did, I did send my parents a link of uh, Squid Game, so. And I, what'd they think? They love it because it's in Korean. I That's see. That's you know, they, <laughs> it's gory, violent, misogynistic, but in Korean. <laughs> hey, you know what? There's something, I'm sure there's a, you know, they, yeah. there's some pride in associated there's, there. There's the pride in the yeah. sociopathy of it all. So many things. Have you seen these lines around the block here of people waiting to go into the BTS store? I mean, there are I kids. heard. That's amazing. Thousands of kids every morning. I, I drive in, I assume they're here for me, and then no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it's incredible, it's incredible. Are you enjoying doing this? I am, man. It's so much fun because this show, I can see your voice, there's no, it's just one contestant, mm -hmm. not competing against another person, and all these celebrities, including Joe McHale, who's not really a celebrity, but it was, <laughs> you know, and a musical superstar, and we have all these secret voices, the whole point of this musical mystery game is just to win a contestant, potentially life-changing money. Right. And we have, and it is the most enjoyable thing when someone wins, especially during the pandemic. And I remember this one contestant, she would keep talking to herself because she was really, she was going behind and we thought she was going to lose it all. She just kept saying, this is my time. This is my time. This is my time. And there was not a dry eye in that. You just want to help that person. Yeah, yeah. Change your life. And, and you, you know, get the, caught up. For you get sure. caught up. Right, and yeah. it's like, I've never, not having done these things before, you know, I, some of my favorite moments of, of television has come from unscripted from my can see your voice. So I'm, I'm really excited it's back for a second season and I, I really, I guarantee you guys will, will love it. Well, it's, uh, it's a fun great show. to see you. And, yeah. uh, thanks, and thanks for the pep talk. Listen to Dr. Ken Jong. He's Don't a doctor. Sake. He's a doctor and a game show host. <laughs> I can see your voice. The holiday special, December 14th on Fox. Kim Jong, we'll be back with Maya and Anna from 1015. If you like that video, click subscribe and we'll be together until one of us dies. <laughs>